Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to dual mine Ethereum Classic with Silica using one of these mini ASIC miners that only use 240 watts. These are the iPolo V1 minis. Uh, if you already have one or you're planning to get one, you may want to see this video as I want to show you some of the things you need to take into account in order to run it to get that extra 26% of Silica. Let's get into it. have this Ipolo V1 mini ASIC miners for a year, about a year now. Uh, I've been mining initially Ethereum and right after the merge I started mining Ethereum Classic uh, at 300 mega hash per second. That's the hash power. Uh, it uses around 240 watts each unit. Um, but I knew that uh, the Ethereum was, the merge was coming so I had to buy a unit uh, that can switch uh, and mine another coin and this is and that's why I've been mining since then, Ethereum Classic. And now I'm mining, I'm dual mining Ethereum Classic with Silica, which is this other coin, Silica. Uh, you can read about silica.com, uh, how to get started. Uh, you're gonna have to download a wallet. Here you have all the wallets. Uh, I have a desktop wallet, but you have different op options here to go through. Um, but if you're planning to get one of these guys, uh, do take into account that they do support 110 uh, volts if you live in the US, so that's good, uh, and they are Wi-Fi. Now, what's important is that the memories, the DAC size, the, they go over, uh, they go up to, sorry, they go up to six giga, gigabits of RAM, which is good. You always wanna check, you know, how big the ASIC miner in terms of DAC size can go, uh, otherwise, uh, as the as the DAC keep increasing, you may get uh, out of and you will be going to be able to keep mining. If you see here the miner stat uh, slash DAC size calculator, you can see, you can check the coin and the actual DAC size calculator. So this is uh, Ethereum Classic. Um, let's put here the six, six gigabyte. And you can see we can mine uh, Ethereum Classic up to February 30, uh, 2032. So uh, in terms of uh, other coins, each one has its own uh, limit, right? Raven coin, let's see. Raven coin with six. We can go up to 27. Let's see Ethereum. Proof of work. Proof of work goes to see much quicker. So proof of work only till uh, next April 2024. So it's always a good thing to uh, check the DAC size calculator before purchasing one of these units because you do want to pay it off before uh, you run out of uh, the limit in the DAC size. We check some of the prices that are being sold at. I can see new egg. I see a unit here for 659. Uh, this is much uh, lower than it was sold last year. Uh, you have some eBay units. I saw some here. This, these are different. These are classic, mini classic. I'm, I'm talking about this iPolo. Make sure you know you get at least 300 mega hash a Wi-Fi. You know this is a bit for uh, 499. That's a bit 570. So you gotta check some prices, 669 here, another bit, another actual price, new, new. Uh, and they do come with a P uh, PSU, so they come with a power unit. So you don't have to uh, do anything else, you just plug them in. Uh, you, we do need to upgrade the firmware, and I'll show you step by step how to do that. And you can see the pool that I'm using is easel.me. Uh, I'm making, uh, $56.95 uh, per 30 days, so per month, uh, with two units. So a little bit over, uh, to what, $27, $28 per unit per month. Uh, so that's a today's price, so that, that one I keep telling. And you see here it says seal extra income, 27.62%. So that's what we got to do now. Um, this is with the extra income uh, where we're getting these numbers. So. Um, what you need to do is you gotta go to eSeal.me and you can see here extra profit. Uh, it says uh, dedicated ports with ASIC and all GPUs. Maximize your profits. Connect. So let's go here and you can see here why uh, seal miners who use ASIC and all GPUs with lower memory capacity have been facing an issue that become a real showstopper. These devices do not allow to cache that size for seal in advance to avoid creating a new file for you. So, and what they're saying is they create a new solution, which is uh, on a solution you can mine seal by connecting to our dedicated ports. So that we have now dedicated ports that we gotta use in order to get this extra 
uh, 26, 27%. Uh, and so what you do is you go to ECL.me and you say start mining. Uh, it will say they choose the main coin. We're mining Ethereum Classic. To choose mining pool, we're gonna mine ETC plus Silica. So that, and then we gotta type the ETC wallet and, and the seal wallet here, and then we'll continue. If you don't have a seal wallet, go ahead and get one. Uh, what you do, you go to uh, Silica here, get started, and wallets. And then you get the wallet they choose. You set it up and you get your address there. But before setting up the pool, we gotta go to ipolo.com. Go ahead and click support, firmware download, V series firmware. So click there. And there you have is V178106. That's the latest. You click there and you gonna download the file. Yep, download. Yep, download executable file. Alright, so I'm downloading the file. You wanna keep that file in a in a in a folder and we're gonna now upgrade our um, mini a6 here um, you're gonna have to get your uh, ip address for that uh, asic and then you're gonna go to let's see minor configuration uh, where is it uh firmware here firmware upgrade you're gonna click upgrade new firmware flash image browse and you're gonna select the file we just downloaded that you're gonna send the bin file there that bin bin you're gonna open and then you're gonna upload and then you're gonna refresh the the firmware and right after you refresh you're gonna get the new firmware which is the version 0.78.06 which is the one that we need to to do a mine all right and after you upgrade your firmware here in your ipolo uh, v1 mini let's go back to the pool where we're, we were setting up the wallets um, this is my etc wallet and now let me get my seal wallet here i have it on my minor configuration i'm gonna get it from there um, let's go back all right type your seal wallet you're gonna get it from your wallet now in terms of configuration we're running asic ipolo all right so mine seal with asic and all gpus we're gonna use these specific ports click here and there you have uh whatever depending on where you are um usa east so i'm gonna be using this tcp specific address in order to take advantage of the 26 percent extra um uh, this is just for etc plus silica uh, these are the ones for uh, uh ETH, ethw uh, so let's go back to the miner and what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that address and paste it here you see uh 50 050 and this is the second one the backup still the old one but the main one should be this new number that you get it uh that you get it from here now in terms of worker uh it is you, the format is your etc address dot seal address dot worker name so that's what i did here my etc etc address that my silk uh, seal address there that the name the name i said mini 2 password you can leave it whatever you want and that's pretty much it you, you need to click save and apply and then you should be good to go when you start dual mining um, ethereum classic and silica that's pretty much it you can see your your ipolo mining at around 300 mega hash per second uh, and then you can watch on your eSeal uh, in the overview you're gonna watch your balance you get paid the minimum is uh, 30 seal uh, is the minimum payout and 0.1 etc and you can change that here uh, and so you can keep watching how you doing if you go to mindtheasics.com if you click on miners profitability you can see you can select the coin here uh, or let's say etc go here you see there uh, and you can see all the models they are ranked by profitability so let's see if we find the e-mini here the ipolo v1 mini yeah it's, it's, it's sent here is uh, 48 cents per day uh, payback time is around 37 months so i hope you guys uh, like the video let me know if you have any trouble or any if you have any questions i'll try to address those in the comment section below Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.